Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Octopus. My name's Ryan, and this week's answer involves the conventions of the default lifecycle. The question is, how do I change the order of the environments in my lifecycle? So I've got three environments, development, test, and production. But let's say I want to add a fourth environment, like UAT. If I add that environment, UAT, save, and head back to the environment list, we'll see that it's been added to the end. So we can see that UAT has been added to the end of the life cycle, which is probably not what we want. We want to go to UAT before production, not after. And the reason it does this is because the phases are set up using the default conventions. It's going to go off the ordering on the environments page. So we can fix this by going back to the environments page and choosing to reorder our environments. So we can reorder, and if we move UAT between test and production and hit save, it will update on the life cycle. Back on the life cycles page, we can see the default life cycle now has the environments in the order that we want them to be in. Uh, there's another way you can do this, which is once you have your environments defined, you can go to the default life cycle and define the phases explicitly. Uh, and this is actually what I prefer to do, because this means that if anybody does add a new environment, it doesn't automatically get added to your default life cycle, uh, especially if that's not what you intend to happen for new environments. So those are two ways that you can reorder the environments in your default life cycle. Do you have a question on how to use Octopus? Email advice at octopus.com and somebody from our team will get you an answer. You might even see it on a future episode. Thanks for watching and happy deployments.